Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Alan Azmikali from PCR Online, and today we are having the pleasure to welcome Dr. Hong from South Korea, uh, the primary investigator of the TPAS trial, uh, the results of which have been announced during TCT 2023 Congress. Dr. Dr. Hong, uh, welcome to welcome to our interview. Uh, thank and you for thank you the... so much for. Uh, kind invitation. I, I'm really happy to have opportunity to present that in my topic in the PCR on online. I really appreciate and the so kind uh, introduction. Thank you. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. Uh, first of all, I would like to start with the design of the trial and the background of the trial. Could you please uh, elaborate uh, more on the uh, the the background duration? of trial and the, and the study design, please, Dr. Hong. Okay, uh, background of the, this study, uh, we know it, uh, we, it, uh, during a PCR, especially in the ACS patient, we have to be a uh, balance between uh, the ischemic event and the uh, breathing event. We, we need a balance. Mm -hmm. So the continuing uh, uh, dual antiplate therapy, uh, we know that the and subsequently increased the, the uh, incidence of the breathing event, particularly in the ACS patient. So we mm -hmm. need uh, the another uh, alternative treatment strategy. In this kind of situation is uh, the P2I12 monotherapy is another the good attractive uh, modality to reduce the, the incidence of the breathing. Therefore, in the in TPAS study, we evaluate that the investigate uh, the clinical outcome between uh, the less than a one month dual antiplate therapy followed by a uh, ticagrelo monotherapy uh, versus a uh, ticagrelo based twelve months dual antiplate therapy as for uh, the uh, clinical outcome. The clinical outcome is uh, mainly all cause of death, MI the stent thrombosis and the stroke and the major breathing. So uh, we I evaluate that the uh, clinical outcome between uh, two groups. And therefore, the one group is uh, the uh, TICA based uh, one month dual antiplate therapy, dual antiplate therapy followed by TICA grello monotherapy. The other group mm -hmm. is a uh, TICA grello based 12 months dual antiplate therapy. Uh, let me ask you, what was the mean time uh, to to stop the aspirin in your uh, intervention group. Uh, actually, in my uh, in this study, the mean uh, median time to stop the, the aspirin uh, in the in the subgroup is uh, the one month dual mm -hmm. end therapy followed by a uh, tikar monotherapy is uh, sixteen days. Mm -hmm. Sixteen days. Sixteen, 16 days. days. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, at the meantime, for stopping aspirin was 16 days. Yes. Okay, I'm really curious about. Thank you for thank you so much for the for your answer. And uh, let me ask you the main results. I'm really curious about because this hypothesis is a, is really a strong hypothesis. Uh, so I'm really curious about the main results. What was the main results of your of your study, Doctor Hong? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, the number of the uh, this study was uh, the uh, was a uh, number of the patient is a uh, two thousand eight hundred fifty patient. The among mm -hmm. those patient, half of it, they assigned to the the uh, one month dual antiplate therapy followed by ticagrelo monotherapy, and the remaining half of the patient was assigned to the ticagrelo twelve month dual antiplate therapy. According to the, the uh, uh, regional, is uh, the uh, instance of uh, the uh, primary outcome was uh, the uh, five point two percent in the the uh, twelve month dual antiplate therapy, well, TICA based uh, twelve month dual antiplate therapy five point two percent, and uh, the that incidence was uh, two point eight percent. In the less than a one month dual antiplay therapy followed by Ticagrelo monotherapy is a quite big difference mm -hmm. and uh, statistically yeah. significant. Main significant. reduction 
main yeah. reduction was uh, caused by the, uh, the reduced incidence of the major bleeding. Okay. The uh, ischemic event, all cause of death, MI, stent thrombosis, and stroke was uh, similar. But the main reduction was observed in the reduction in the major bleeding. And uh, Thank you. when we think about that the, in, the, as a, in the previous study, uh, as we know, stop DAPT2 ACS study, which was yeah. done in the in the Japan. Uh, I remember mm -hmm. that in the several years ago, it yeah. was uh, published in the uh, JAMA mm -hmm. cardiology. At the time, one month to plate therapy followed by clopidogrel monotherapy. Yeah. It's uh, uh, some yeah. negative study. What does yeah. it mean? One month to plate therapy followed by clopidogrel monotherapy is uh, the insufficient to prevent uh, the ischemic event. So therefore, mm -hmm. we need a more strong P2I12 inhibitor in means. The, therefore, yeah. Yeah. the candidate is a Prasgurel or the Chicagrel. One in the uh, this year, uh, I uh, heard that the, in the ESC uh, meeting, there is a they mm -hmm. uh, publish the uh, uh, present uh, the stop DAPT three. And that group was uh, the one group is uh, the Prasgurel yes. alone, but the Prasgurel alone mm -hmm. is uh, the result in a more uh, increase in the ischemic event. Yes. So Prasgurel itself is uh, still insufficient to have a uh, prevent yeah. uh, the ischemic event. Therefore, we need a more strong the uh, uh, yeah. antiplate activity. Therefore, the Ticagrelo is uh, one of the strong candidates. Therefore, we have uh, the uh, positive result, maybe. That is uh, the, my mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, uh, explanation for the uh, yeah. our study. Thank you so much for your explanation and for comparing the, the, the relevant studies, in, uh, which affects in the, our daily practice. Because, yes, the main message from the stop that to ACS were that stopping aspirin and continuing with clopidogrel only was not enough to prevent the ischemic events. So I think this study, the TPAS study, falls in the middle of these two studies. So the, as you say, this strategy, Tychagro, uh, reducing this de-escalation from aspirin plus Tychagro to only Tychagro, less than one month, you, you elegantly highlighted the median time was around two weeks, 16 days. Yes. Is a reasonable strategy for such patients. So uh, maybe it's a good time to discuss the limitations of the TPAS trial. What would you say about the limitations of the TPAS trial? Uh, Could you please uh, summarize? Yes. Actually, this patient, the study was at the open level, open level, and even though it's a multi-center mm -hmm. randomized open level, uh, therefore we have uh, some limitation. And the second one is uh, the actually the possibility of uh, the some underpower of uh, the study. The reason why mm -hmm. actually the uh, uh, expected uh, the event rate is uh, more higher, but in this mm -hmm. study, we did not achieve uh, uh, such kind of the high level of uh, event rate. So the possibility of the under power. However, mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, this is uh, the first study uh, to provide uh, some evidence uh, of uh, the uh, P2I12 monotherapy, especially in the Chicago in the mm -hmm. uh, ACS population is uh, one evidence and uh, the one evidence. So the uh, we need uh, the uh, more the accumulate the, the uh, evidence you know, from now mm -hmm. and then and uh, the uh, validate that the uh, strong P twi twelve monotherapy uh, should be the evaluated. Second one is that the uh, now it's time to think about the value of the, the aspirin. Uh, I totally agree with mm -hmm. the value of the, the aspirin in the in our patient. However, it would the aspirin is a very effective, uh, very, uh, the, uh, the cost of the aspirin is uh, not 
uh, expensive. So it's a uh, very effective. But the value of uh, the aspirin, mm -hmm. actually this is a very old drug. You know that in the 50 years ago and the 60 years ago, but yeah. uh, still, we have the use of uh, the aspirin is a uh, mandatory and the uh, routine should be used. But you know that mm -hmm. during uh, 15 years, the technology and the drug was a huge amount of technique was uh, developed. Mm -hmm. In the current time, still we have to mandatory and obligatory use the, the aspirin in the old patient. Is uh, I think it's a uh, time. To mm -hmm. the to because the, we have uh, the another uh, technology and the skill knowledge and the more powerful drug, so we have mm -hmm. to think about uh, the obligatory uh, uh, routine use of the aspirin. We have to think about it. And last but not least, uh, my last question, uh, Dr. Wang. The, the discussion is really uh, really very fruitful. Thank you so much. Uh, but I want to I want to hear from you. What will be the impact of these results to our daily practice? What is the main takeaway uh, from the TPAS trial? I think is uh, the uh, currently the in our lab is uh, the the we have a uh, more confident to use uh, the, this kind of uh, the. Uh, uh, drug strategy in the ACS patient because now mm -hmm. we have evidence and the prove it mm -hmm. so we are more comfortable. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, I did not insist that the, this uh, treatment strategy is always uh, the, uh, should be uh, the good or efficient excellent. No, mm -hmm. this is uh, the suggestion of another alternative for uh, the individual yeah. uh, patient uh, for uh, the, mm -hmm. uh, the you know, the in the in, in some patient the uh the prescri uh prescribe that the aspirin, the lots of the patient is a complaint of the, the GI problem and the, even in the the higher instance of the GI breathing, gastrointestinal. Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. in this kind of patient, we think about the, this kind of the uh drug uh, treatment strategy. Yeah, thank you. And uh, maybe it is important to keep in mind that the tight the dose of ticagrelor in this people uh, in this patient population in the intervention group and in the control arm was ninety milligram, uh, ninety milligram, right? Uh, right. Twice a day. Right. So it 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 was so it's important that it was not a, it was not the uh, not tested the reduced dose of ticagrelor. So I think it is. It is another important point, and still there was a decreased, uh, decreased ratio of bleeding. So I think these results are really encouraging uh, for for the Asian population, and maybe really reasonable to the to the whole population uh, to 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 withdraw aspirin after the after the first month. It first month, so. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Hong. Uh, you did uh, really elegantly highlighted the most important points of the TPAS trial, and it was really, really fruitful to discuss the details of this trial with you. Uh, so thank you so much for accepting our invitation again. Uh, would you like to add something? No, uh, I really appreciate uh, uh, this interview and uh, the I'm really happy to have opportunity to present that in my uh, data in the PCR online. I really appreciate. It. Thank you.